Okay, so this is the second part of that video that we started a couple of minutes ago, uh, and I went through a couple of techniques. So here are two more techniques for solving. Let's solve this one. Let's take a look at this one for a second. So solve log base 3 of 5x minus 1 is equal to log base 3 of x plus Seven. Now, here's the thing here before I uh, teach you this technique and have you start using it. You can only use this technique if this is true. So it says log base 3 here. This is what I, when I first looked at this problem, I was like, okay, do we have the same base? Log base 3 of this side and log base 3 of this side. If that's true, then you don't have to take the log because we want to know when is 3 to some power equal to this and when is 3 to some power equal to this. So we can drop these logs, right? Because this, these parts are already equal. We need to figure out when these parts are equal. So what I'm looking at now is I'm, because they are of the same base, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, if I can make, if I can find an x value that makes these two pieces, this piece in here and this piece in here the same, then I'm gonna have log base three of same, log base three of same. So what we have here is just this. All we have to do is look at this, we say, we just pull these pieces out. We say, when is 5x minus 1 equal to x plus 7, right? Because if we can figure, well, well, I'll prove it in just a second. Let's take a look at it. So here's this, right? So I'm just going to start to solve. If you don't mind, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. That gives us 4x minus 1 is equal to 7, right? I'm trying to get the x's by themselves. So I'm going to take, the, I'm going to add 1 to both sides, plus 1 here, and we get 4x is equal to 8. I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and we have x is equal to 2. So let's say, okay, x is equal to 2. Just a simple algebra. Let's see if it's true here. So let's go back up here, and let's just test it. Take out this x, right? Take out the x here and put the, whoops, sorry about that. Take out the x here and put just put in a place for us to put our value. Take out this x here, put our value, and let's see what happens. We said x is 2, so let's drop this 2. We solved, right? Let's drop this 2 into here and into here right so he said x is 2 well let's see if that's not true 2 2 well this is 5 times 2 is 10 minus 1 is 9 so we have log base 3 of 9 on this side when we simplified it we have 2 plus 9 I'm sorry 2 plus 7 is 9 and so we have log base 3 of 9 on this side now we can actually solve, simplify these two things, but we don't have to because all we had to do is prove that this is equal to this. And it's got to be true that log base 3 of 9 is equal to log base 3 of 9 reflexively, right? I mean, just it's, it looks the same. It's like saying 5 is equal to 5, right? So, okay, remember, though, the key thing before we use that technique was to make sure that we had same bases, all right? Okay. Good work. So here's an, here's another example of how you might end up solving. And this is, uh, we're going to do this by exponentiating. So let's take a look at this. Here's our second example for this video. Solve log base 5 of 3x plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay. The answer here is not obvious, but we can we can exponentiate, which is just doing this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to exponentiate both sides to 5. Look what happens. At first, it might not be obvious, but look what's going to happen here. I'm going to take 5 here, right? And then I'm going to take these as their exponents. Log base 5 of 3x plus 1. Right? And I'm going to raise this 2 as the exponent here, so like that right same bases so all we did was exponentiate right the key here is look at this for a second what is what is 5 to the log base 5 of x right of this thing right it's just this the answer to this side is just going to be this part right here and you can test that but so what we got here is this, 3x plus 1 here, 
and we know that 5 squared is 25, isn't it? Now we can just do some work here. We can simplify this. So we have 3x plus 1 is equal to 25, right? Add negative 1 or subtract 1 from each side, however you describe that. It says 3x is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 3. We get x is equal to 8. Is equal to 8. What are we going to do now to see if we're right? Well, let's, let's check and see if it's not true. So let's put... Let's take out this x and let's put in the x value that we determined, right? I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put a place for this x. And I'm just going to drop this in here to check this thing. I'm going to take this and I'm going to say, you know what? Let's, let's plug that in and check and see what happens. And if we plug that in, what would happen is this, right? We'd get 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25, isn't it? Is 25, right? So if we did a, we simplified this math, we'd have 25. Now we ask ourselves the question, isn't this true? Isn't this true? Isn't this true that 5 squared equals 25? Proof. All right, good work. There are lots of examples. There are just three or four or five techniques that we need to work our way through. So keep up the good work.